Okay, so I couldn't figure out how to swap things uh, with the camera still on, so I'm just going to have to edit this later. Uh, but here we go with the grand tour. You will notice there are a couple of pieces of paper up. Uh, one, this one here is because that has my children's picture on it. And this one here has pictures and names of my main characters of my books, which I don't necessarily mind sharing the pictures, but I'd like to keep the names a secret for now. Um, eventually I'd love to do a post on casting my characters. So uh, up here we have some randomness. We've got my uh, some of my Boyd's Bears, one cherished teddy, and then my unicorn collection, which a lot of this is from my childhood, but then I've just been slowly collecting a few other things. So um, this shelf eventually is not going to be here, but I'm going to try and find a different shelf. Uh, this one I'm going to use in my daughter's room for her cherished teddies. But We've got my Happiness is Believing in Unicorn sign from Hobby Lobby, and then a few unicorn uh, Christmas ornaments. Most of these I believe are from Walmart, if I remember correctly. I think actually the one in the middle uh, might be from Tuesday morning. And then I have my unicorn headband that I wore at Realm Makers. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing more of a unicorn fantasy theme out here around my desk. Uh, I just recently found the limited edition Zelf's merry-go-round. Um, that, that that's her name is merry-go-round. I found her on eBay for a really good price compared to what they're normally going for. And I've never had a limited edition Zelf. Any of you who have followed me before know that Zelf's are one of my things I really enjoy collecting. And so it was really fun to get her. And then this is my unicorn chapstick I just found at Walgreens the other day. Here's my mystery characters and some uh, necklaces hanging from them that are going to play into my stories. And then we have uh, my fuzzy charm I got from my mom at Christmas and my little Tokidoki mermaid, mermaid charms. I'm kind of going over to this side because I just realized there may be stuff on the calendar I don't want to necessarily share. This is my homemade calendar from my writer friend Rosemary. So up here to the shelf, this is kind of my random unicorn obsession shelf. So I've got my unicorn, my mini Mixi Qs, including the uh, rainbow unicorn, limited edition. And then just some Tokidoki, a Tokidoki unicorn, another one here, and my little pony and a chapstick unicorn self. This is one of the um, Kuku Harajuku dolls in the unicorn outfit that I thought was really cute. And this is my unicorn pet pod from Moose Toys for Shopkins. And my Princess Celestia unicorn playing cards. My unicorn fingerling, which is really fun. And my cute little uh, tea turtle double-sided unicorn I got from Rosemary for Christmas. And my little starlight itty bitty from the Rainbow Bright Hallmark line. And then my unicorn makeup brushes and unicorn pen. And then over here I have my shelf of writing books um, and then some blank journals as well. These are blank that I'm going to be filling. And then, uh, yeah, writing books that I'm going to be reading and or rereading this uh, year. And my sparkly unicorn bank. So this has my uh, conference funding in it. <laughs> I'm not sure <clears throat> that I will be going to a conference this year, but even if not, that'll just be saving for later. And then this is more my... Uh, art supply one. So I've got my Sharpies and pencils, colored pencils, paints, more colored pencils, paint brushes. And then these are two of my very favorite ponies. Um, I believe this one is called Silver Song and this is one that my mom found for me at Goodwill but it is so perfect because it's a little music and drama pony which those are two of my huge obsessions. And then this pony has a little quill pen so she's like a little writing pony. I love her. I do not know her name. And then I have my Emoji Care Bear and shop, Shoppy Marshmallow, which my mom found at Goodwill as well. And these are my Copics, or some of them. Uh, this little drawer unit was made by my dad quite a while ago, and it's perfect for the markers. So I have them separated according to color family. Um, I've got my, my little pony tin that has my business cards in it. Dun-dun-dun! So... Um, those were made at Vistaprint. 
um, by the way, I apologize for my icky thing on my hand. I have a cat that likes to give me too much affection. And then I have my two little sparkly kawaii note pads that I got at a toy store in Fort Bragg. They're just really cute. I don't think I'll ever use them because they're too, too cute. And then this is my origami rose from Rosemary. Um, I've got some stickers over here that I like to use for letters and things. And then over here I have the rest of my Copics and also some of my uh, pencils and things. This was also made by my dad. And I've got my Hello Kitty timer for um, a lot of times if I want to just set a timer for my writing or something so that I remember to get up and not sit here the entire day. And then I have my unicorn squishies so that if I get stressed, I can <laughs> squeeze those. Um, so those are really cute. And then I have my... My Little Pony lanyard that has my uh, flash drive in it. A princess cup for my pencils and pens. And my unicorn that I found not too long ago. And then I've got my five days a week schedule. It's a paper mouse pad, which is really cool. And then I've got a ton of um, just lists because they help keep me organized. Supposedly, at least. That's the theory. <laughs> Uh, and then over here in front of the computer, these are some of my little things I've collected that have to do with my books. Um, so none of these will make sense to you right now, but I cannot wait to share these with you at some point. They all have significance in the stories. Um, so I, I'm just super excited to be able to share that with you guys at some point and what the significance is. 